possible political gain. Sean Spicer is communications director for the Republican National Committee, and former Pennsylvania Governor Ed Rendell is an NBC News political analyst and here with me at the table. Thank you very much, Governor. Uh, first of all, uh, Sean, let's talk about Mitt Romney's accusation. Does he have any proof that the, the president himself was involved, that the White House himself was involved? I think what you're referring to is uh, a recitation of Senator Dianne Feinstein's comments uh, where she made it very clear she's the head of the Intelligence Committee in the Senate, a prominent Democrat, making it very clear that there's no question that some of this activity had to have stemmed from the White House. Uh, what about that, Governor Rendell? Does the president need to do more to crack down, to signal to all of his people that this will not be tolerated? I, I think he does, but, but let me just say this. Anyone who knows the president knows that he wouldn't do this, and anyone who looks at this, there's not a scintilla of evidence that he's involved personally. And, you know, for the Congress to have these hearings, Andrew, it's why the people all across America have such a revulsion for the Congress. We don't have a jobs bill. We don't have. We haven't done one blessed thing to help the economy, and we're wasting time on these partisan games playing. It, it's just ridiculous. I would. I would actually. I would actually agree, Andre, with with the governor's comments in terms of what what the focus needs to be, which is the economy and jobs, as the governor pointed out. Um, and and I think that's why you saw us highlighting this week the concern that we have with uh, with the governor's con with excuse me with the president's comment um, uh, about talking down small businesses, saying you didn't build this, talk, not meeting with well, this jobs council, not getting an economic well, briefing in the last since yeah. April of 2011. Yeah, but, but and you know, look, I ran for office and I know what candidates do, but why not? Why doesn't Governor Romney say to the Republicans in the Congress, the president has a proposal to tax credit, to give tax credits to small businesses for jobs they create. It's a good idea. It will help small business. It will create jobs. Pass it, guys. Don't wait till next January. Pass it. The country's hurting. That's the message Governor Romney should be giving. Sean, what about well, this? You've got a new ad out as well. Uh, let me just show a little bit of the Build It ad where you are focusing on what the, what the president had to say. Uh, let, let's talk about your whole argument about the, this Build It comment that the right. president made. Uh, I, I how think, significant uh, do you think that is? Because his point is that he was simply saying that there is a collective uh, responsibility, that we all are part of this country together. Uh, do you really think that he is saying to small business members that they are not involved and should not be taking any credit for what they personally accomplish? Well, I, I think that that what makes America unique and why people still flock to our to our country is because there's this sense that if you really work hard, if you take a chance, if you invest your savings and you've got a good idea, you can go out there and make it. Whether it's you know writing a book or building a business, a small business or whatever, that's the sort of that's the the vision that everyone has of America, this place where you can come and succeed. And I think what we found very troubling about the president's comments were this sense of taking away that that sense of American spirit, saying, hey. Hey, you know, there's a lot of smart people out there. There's a lot of hardworking people out there. You didn't build it. There's a lot of people that can take well, credit for it. And Sean, I don't, I just, I, I, I don't think that that's, the, at a time when we're trying to tell people, hey, we need to turn this economy around and be creating more businesses and getting people to, to embrace that entrepreneurial, innovative spirit that so defines us as a nation, why would we be trying to, to, to take it down and, and to belittle it to some degree and say, well, you only did it because the government was there to help you? This is the way the Obama campaign has responded. Those ads, taking my words about small business out of context, they're flat out wrong. Of course Americans build their own businesses. Every day, hardworking people sacrifice to meet a payroll, create jobs, and make our economy run. And what I said was that we need to stand behind them, as America always has, by investing in education and training, roads and bridges. Now, isn't this whole debate sort of taking down both candidates? Our own NBC News Wall Street Journal poll, Sean and Governor Rendell, indicates that both candidates are being hurt by all of the negative campaigning so early and so fast and furious. Sean? But, but Andrea, first, I, I, um, 
he, he, he just, the ad that you just showed, he says, here's what I said. But it's not what he said. And that's the thing that's interesting. If he had said what he said in the ad just now, we wouldn't have a problem. He came out and he said, we're taking the words out of context. We put up a minute and a half of those, of those, con of those words. There's nothing out of context. We played them straight up. Here's what exactly what he said. Let the viewer decide what they view, what they think. So there's nothing negative. It's literally his words for a minute. But, but, um, sure, and so then the right president's getting the... on his ad and saying, the, the president's ad says, this is what I, this is what I said. And it's not, not even close. And he's saying, this is what I meant. Well, you know what? You chose the words you said in the first time. You're Harvard educated. You got a team of speechwriters. You didn't say it. And so, all words, I mean, there's nothing negative about using the president's entire words. We're the Republican National Committee, for goodness sake, and we're putting up a minute of his own words saying, here's his speech. You decide. Ed Rendell, did the president make a mistake? No. If you look at the president's remarks in context, when I was governor, I got a call from Kellogg, one of our biggest manufacturers in Pennsylvania, and the CEO said to me, we need you to build a spur so we can bypass 219 around our factory because in bad weather we can't get our trucks out. So I built a spur. I didn't use any Kellogg money. I built a spur because it's what government should do, work together with business. And that was the president's point. But Sean, I want to go back to my point. We're hurting. No one's working. People, small businesses aren't creating jobs. Why doesn't Governor Romney say to the uh, Speaker Boehner, pass the president's tax credit proposal for small businesses who hire people. It's a good bill. It's a bill that Republicans have supported in the past. Let's pass it. Let's get people to work. Let's act mature. Let's not get involved in who said what and who struck John. Let's do something for the American people. Well, we're going to have to leave it there. Well, Sean Spicer, uh, quick fin if finish. If I can, Andrew, uh, just real quick, yes, Governor, I, I think that the, 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 the Governor has laid out a very extensive plan to put business back together, and the, and the Congress, the Republican House anyway, has passed several bills and sent them but over to the Senate. People who are out so, of work, Sean, can't wait for six months. This is a solid I understand that, Governor, and, and, but, but it's taken six months since the, the Jobs Council has met. Don't don't worry about it's, words. Let's have in, in those six months, Governor, the, the the jobs council that the president said was a work council hasn't met. He hasn't gotten an economic uh, briefing since April sure, of 2011. That's, that's I agree with you, sir. Collateral stuff. Pass the bill. Governor Romney should ask the Congress to pass the bill. Let's get people back to and work. And now we now. really do have to leave it there. Ed Rendell, Sean Spicer, a good debate. Thank you very, both very much. Thank you.